Hi there. I need to start complaining about D&D &D or else I'm going to just flip out and explode, probably, most likely. So, I've been reading through <clears throat> the old edition of uh, the Dungeon Master's Guide the last couple days. Specifically, um, AD&D 1E's uh, Dungeon Master Guide by Gary Gygax. And there's something about it that just... It, like, Gary Gygax approached making the first edition of AD&D with a very different mindset than what I get when I see when I'm reading, say, fifth edition's rules. I could go over and grab the fifth edition handbook, but I didn't think to do that already. But when, like, when I read fifth edition's rules, uh, like this difference is best summed up in like how these two games handle the introduction of the book. Like, um. First edition's uh, introduction is like, it starts by saying like, here's a couple notes about the game. First and foremost, D&D &D is meant to be fun and kind of a dis uh, just a fun distraction for the purpose of venting creativity. Um, it's not, it doesn't say that in those words exactly, but it's kind of that spirit of, of like, D&D &D is a video game. D&D it, it, &D is a game first, and it's kind of just meant to be a fun diversion. Uh, and I think Gary Gygax actually does say it's meant to be a fun diversion. Whereas in the 5th edition's DM guide, um, it says, like, you're going to have to set aside some free time in order to make this work. Uh, and there's just this fundamental difference in approach between uh, the one rulebook going, this is meant to be a fun diversion, and the other rulebook saying, you're going to have to spend your free time uh, working on this to make... And it's just like... Uh, it's, it's frustrating to read through <laughs> the newer editions of D&D &D where everything's taken seriously because like in the first editions of D&D &D, it's just like D&D &D is not meant to be taken too serious like don't take like no matter how seriously you take it like just remember you're not supposed to take D&D &D that seriously Whereas 5th edition has completely, like, ignored and missed this point and takes D&D very, very seriously. Like, you are the dungeon master. You're going to create worlds for things. Whereas, like, 1st edition goes, like, if you're trying to simulate realism, <laughs> there are a lot better games you could do. If you're trying to fill, uh, if you're just trying to write a story about a bunch of heroes and villains and shit, like, D&D is the game for you. Like, it's, it, it, D&D 1E starts by saying, like, D&D &D is first and foremost a game, whereas, like, 5th edition goes, like, you're telling a complex story. And this is, uh, this isn't a video I was planning to make, but I might scrap because it's a little bit too whiny, uh, not whiny, but, like, just angry and ranty. But, uh, it, like, oh, what was the point I was going to make? It was, it was about how D&D &D 5E, expect... Oh, right, the ludology versus narratology debate. Uh, it's reared its ugly head in D&D, &D and, uh, like, people don't talk about this explicitly, but, like, and everyone understands that you're supposed to use them, like, yes, you're supposed to have rules, and yes, you're supposed to have a story, but, like, some people very clearly prefer one o over the other. And in the case of, like, the mo more recent editions of D&D, &D, uh what's being preferred is the uh, story end of things be because they've just kind of discarded everything relating to the rules, no matter how cool it was, because eh, it's hard to... those rules are kind of messy and eh, they're they're kind of... they, they make things harder to run uh, and it doesn't help... and they don't help the story, so we're gonna throw them out. And it's just... that's frustrating to read and see because those rules are important and like it, when I'm reading through the DM guide in first edition and the rules for first edition there's just all these there's the rule everything is so cool I love it so much there's it, like the the first edition DM guide is dense and compact with creativity just bursting out at the fucking seams like there's rules on 
like, yeah, D&D is fundamentally built on an inflationary economy where you're just, like, bringing a bunch of gold into a tiny settlement. Um, there's rules on, like, little do your players know you're secretly tracking everything they do. Uh, there's rules on, like, it, it, so you can change their see where their alignment is. Um, it, there, there's these rules on, like, you know, list what the player's done and then list how well they were doing, they were playing their class with, like, this grading system excellent uh superior below average and terrible um and those like how well you were playing your class would like then be adjusted into the amount of experience you get for bringing the gold back and to get bring the gold back to, to, like to get experience you'd have to kill monsters or bring gold back and bringing gold back is worth way more than the monsters are and uh, it like i can flip to any page of the first edition dm guide and be like this is exciting and fun and cool uh, and, like, when I flipped through any page of the DM guide in 5th edition, it's just, like, it's not trying to draw you in. It's, a, it's like, taking this weird, like, pretentious stance where it's just, like, we're the best. We're This is the world's greatest role-playing game, and you should be honored to be playing it. That's the sort of tone that the DM guide in 5e takes. Whereas, like, the tone in the 1st edition is D&D is meant to be fun. It's a fun pastime for you to play with your friends. Some play, Like, there's not, like, this pretentious and overblown not okay sorry not pretentious but like there's this overblown section in the 5e dm guide about like what to do when your players don't show up well you can uh, either like make an excuse for their character to not show or you can uh, uh, uh you can like have someone gm pc their character whereas like that's never even addressed in the first edition of D D. it's just like the, it, there's just a sentence that goes like Players won't show up, like, after the initial excitement wears off, players, there are a lot of players who will just kind of show up, stop showing up, uh, to reduce player attrition, but, like, player attrition will always be a thing, but to reduce player attrition, uh, make your game more fun. And that's how, what the first edition of D&D says, rather than, like, presuming that you're fucking the best. It's... There, like, there, there's a lot of thoughts I'm trying to get out of my head right now, but it's just, like, these are bursting at the seams... And I need to say them somewhere or I'm going to explode because I can't talk to anybody about this. No one like I talk to cares about this too much. Um, but I just, well, I'm okay. There are people I do know who do, do that, but I don't want to bug them. Uh, but so, so I'm, that's why I'm bugging you people. It, uh, but, uh, the, like when I, uh, I like, I'm trying to write these essays about um, D and D about D and D five E and why I don't like it, or like why D and D one E is so cool because like, and you're not seeing these essays, but just know I have them. Um, much like I have uh, all the essays that I put into that document from like here's everything I didn't finish in 2017. I've already got a four thousand page uh, essay on on uh, like why I don't like backgrounds in five E and also some other musings on like DMs and such, but just like and. Like, when I look back at the first edition of D&D, there's just all these really, really, really cool ideas. They're a bitch to implement. They're a pain in the ass. But they're so cool! They're the coolest! I, like, I will read, like, I can flip to any page in the DM guide for first edition and be like, holy shit, that's amazing! It, the, like, it's just oozing with, like, creative ideas and fun and like mirth i guess it's it's bursting with mirth uh the, the first edition of D D, and it's like everything's really complicated but it's also really really cool like let's see what was there what was there that in the in the first edition rulebook that like i haven't already talked about like uh, oh can't remember and I don't want to turn on the computer to find out but it's just uh f first edition of D&D &D, like it, there's so much creativity and like when I read the first edition like dragon magazines for D&D &D, like there are a lot of cool ideas like magic isn't doesn't have r limits in the early editions of D&D &D. like magic missile doesn't cap out at five missiles because for balance magic missile you get an additional missile every level and when you're 20th level, you cast Magic Missile and fucking 20 missiles come out. Like, you are skewering people with, like, a Gatling gun of arrows that you create out of the ether. 
as a high level wizard. Uh, it's or, or like there there are no damage caps because like magic sucks. Like if you cast the haste spell, like and you know everyone does these days, but if you cast haste spell in the old editions of D D, like your character would lose a year of his life. Like the Mac, like your character's eight, like you're like okay, you cast speed, increment your ca or character's age by one year. And this this happens for everyone who haste is cast on, so like you can't cast haste too many times, or else your character is going to die of old age. Uh, uh, it's there's like you can't like if you cast the gate spell, you lose five years of your life. Um. Like, there are penalties for... Like, there are some really fucking big penalties for doing things, but they're fucking cool! And just, like... There's a disease... Like, there's a disease table? Like, you just have a... Ba like, it, there's a thing in there that says, like, roll every... Like, uh, roll on this table to see if your character catches a disease. There's 2% chance modified by a bunch of other things. And fucking deal with it. Uh, th there's a section in the DM guide that says, like... <clears throat> You're expected to be familiar with the how how ecology works. This isn't a this isn't a textbook, but you should go pick up some. <laughs> like holy shit, you are expecting so much of the DM, and that's amazing. <laughs> like the the fucking DM guide in first edition as, expects you to go out and pick up a book on climatology. That's incredible. That's hilarious. Like it doesn't really expect you to, but it's just like. No, this is of paramount importance, and it's amazing. And, like, again, that's one of those things where it's like, this is something that is just a bitch to implement and do, but it's so fucking cool! Like, if someone actually... Like, if there was a DM who actually did the things that was were listed in the DM guide for first edition D&D, they would be the greatest fucking DM in the world. Like, uh, it's... So D and D first edition, it, there's just like all these crazy ideas that have just been bundled and jammed together. Like, um, uh, what was it? It like the alignment chart isn't just like a fucking grid. It's like this, like fucking like okay, here's lawful good, here's lawful evil, here's like new, here's like lawful neutral. Neutral's like this little, like, it looks like a fucking cross, uh, like an iron cross, I guess, kind of. No, not kind of iron cross, it's, um, more European. Like, the alignment chart looks like a sort of, like, European cross, uh, where it's, like, square-ish, but, like, it's not just a, f a regular, like, flat grid, it's, like, lawful good, and there's, like, these words on the side, on the corners of the, of the alignment chart that's, like, demoniac, um, euphoric, um, dev, devilidnik, I can't remember the word, but it, it's just, there's, like, there, it, there's so much attention to detail paid, even in, like, the, the creation of the alignment chart, is the point I'm getting at, is just, there's, there's so much, and it, then, then I read, like, 5e, and it's just, like, you forgot you have lost your way you have forgotten how you have forgotten what you used to be because it's like 5e just feels like i'm playing a video game and not like not like vi playing a video game in a good way it's like you've just ported over the way that you've ported over the cheap solutions that video games make because they don't have a human gm and that's how what dnd 5e feels like it's like a, it's like it's like a video game, but a shitty one. But then, uh, or uh, God, like I read like early editions of Dragon Magazine, and there will be a section on like language, and the section on language says like, one of my players picked up the language for Wall, and tried to converse with a dungeon wall to figure out what was behind it. To which the Wall in my campaign answered, "I don't know. I'm plastered." And it, and there's just this sense of fun and wonder and mirth and joy coming out of every single page of the DM guide and player's handbook of first edition D and D that just doesn't exist. That I like I can't see when I'm looking over the rules for five e or four e. It there it's lost the mirthful, youthful wonder of those games, and it's like 
ah, oh, this is a tragedy. Like, there's a rule, uh, like, a, the DM guide has a rule on, like, introducing new players. Like, it says, let the new players enjoy being a new adventurer. You were you had fun like that once, let them do it. Uh, there's, like, a rule on having multiple characters that where it says there's no rule against having it. Just uh, try, you know, try and be good and don't have your character, your two characters know each other if you're a decent player. There's a section on, like, how, how to deal with troublesome players, which is, like, just fucking kick them out. If, like, if they are pervasively shitty, kick them out. Otherwise, you know, p fucking peer pressure them into better behavior. Because the game is about having fun and not about getting your friends together for, for a week. No matter how asshole they are. The game is about fundamentally having fun and... Ugh, it's just really good. Um, right. It just... Man, D and D money it just has so much going on. It, every page is dense. Uh, if I were if I had video editing software, I'd like put up uh, some things on screen right here, show, like showing off uh, the sorts of things I mean, but I don't. But just there's there's so much to D and D one e, and like there is like fucking joy coming off of every page of it. Uh, there's no, it, it's, expl it is explicitly not trying to be realistic and because it does not give a shit about realism. It cares about having fun and make, and like making these big heroes fight big bad guys. And it's just the coolest. Anyway, I need to get that off my chest or else I will, I would have exploded. Have a good day.